CST Inspired Minds Initiative is a very exciting uh, project that we're working on, which is about looking at the future of what the Canadian landscape of careers is going to look like. So we've partnered with futurists, uh, industry experts, uh, researchers, academics, and we have developed content uh, that looks at what careers will look like in about 15 to 20 years out. When you look at our mission, which we've had for a number of years, which is to advocate and, and be a public policy uh, advocacy role as well as inspiring families, this is exactly 100% match in terms of that whole mission. Certain jobs exist because they're just foundational to, to our cultures. One that came to mind was a uh, fashion designer. And, you know, um, fashion's been around forever, but the technology around fashion is changing um, and you know the most fundamental change is in uh, what we're now calling wearable technologies. Well one of my, my favorite jobs uh, which is speculative at this point but quite possible is uh, something we called a, a rewilder. People who actually uh, are helping the land to recover from uh, a couple of centuries of intensive um, agriculture. There's a lot of mobility uh, in the job market. I don't think that's going away necessarily. That means that we need to prepare uh, by being resilient. Diversify your abilities. Learn the social skills, technical skills, learn how to think. The project is twofold. There is the Careers 2030 component of it, which is all about job descriptions and articles that, that we've worked with in partnership with these experts. And then there's another component to it, which is a contest, and that's very grassroots in nature. So what we are doing is we're putting up a fund, two contests per year of $100,000 each contest. We will sponsor or we will support programs that appeal to children and they are not for profit in nature but they're trying to be progressive. The Inspired Minds contest is a unique opportunity for sales reps across Canada to really work with their local communities, local organizations. And it's a really great opportunity to get that CST name out there in terms of our brand and people being aware of who we are and what we stand for. Something like this, I hope, provides kids the opportunity to have a series of signposts about what the future could hold for them and hopefully says to them, you know, when you're looking at these things, consider what you're passionate about. The skills that people are really interested in are prefigured in the way that they play. So I think that you can really start to build out um, a, a future for a child by reflecting on the way that they like to play and then encouraging them in that direction and then also rounding up their skills. Being able to look at what the future holds and how we can engage um, youth to play a major role in that I think is really, really critical because, you know, the youth of tomorrow will, they are defining this, right? This will be their reality. We're really proud that we actually connect with people to have the impact of unlocking uh, any and all possibilities with resources to pursue it. And this is a really great way to engage people with their children early on to actually pursue that dream. And I, I think it's just so uplifting and uh, so inspiring.